Cheers, lads. <laughs> <laughs> Fingers crossed. Good luck. Thanks, boys. Thank you. The ne next time, can we do this in Australia? Why? It's too <laughs> cold here. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, welcome back to the Extra Pack. Are you in the right place for Extra Pack, the Nuggets of Fun? The grand place if you're looking for Australia's most wanted, hopefully. It was incredible to see them back together on our stage tonight, and now they're here on our panel. Would you please welcome from Boy Zone, or as I like to call them, Man Zone, Ronan Keating, Shane Lynch, and Mikey Graham. Hello. Yay! Hello. Welcome, guys. I know you've, it's all very emotional now, but how was it not as far as. No, not, not at all. Yeah, really? Oh. It's just it's I'm, gone I'm already. I'm over it. I'm over it. Look, <laughs> Amanda's gone. What can I do? It's shocking. Exactly. You have to. You've got to recover pretty terrible. quickly. How was the performance tonight, anyway? Because you haven't performed for six it's, months together. It's fantastic. I mean, of course, it was an extremely uh, weird experience. That there's only three of us here that Keith couldn't make it, yeah. and, and also then in, in remembrance of Stephen as well, you yeah. know. But uh, it was certainly enjoyable, you know. It was enjoyable. Fantastic. Was right, also joining us tonight is a contestant you wanted to see banter with Boyzone slash Manzone. It's our work experience co-host and for this segment only. Can I have the envelope, please? Yeah. Thank you. The winner is Sally. Have oh, we got Sally? Sally. Yay. Sally. Sally Ann. Yeah. Welcome, Sally. Congratulations. Um, we'll get to, to you a little bit later on, my love, but take a seat and join in the conversation. Um, now, what happened? Uh, tonight, uh, what do you happened, think? What happened tonight was the judges wimped out. Right. The other judges, well, bar Natalie, the other judges wimped out. Oh. You, I was quite surprised when Kyle said that as soon as the names were announced, he'd made his decision. Well, it's like look, he didn't yeah, even listen. I mean, you can't pick because of someone's personality. He might never see her again, mm. you know? Maybe she'll drop in on his radio show or something like that when she's travelling the world selling millions of yeah. records. <laughs> but she might never see him again. Yeah. And he, you know what? It was it was a bad choice from Guy and from Kyle. Yeah. Doing what they did. They went for the safe bet. Yeah. Not the right bet. And, um, you know, what can you do? You guys were also involved in, in helping Rodin select the final three when uh, you were back in Ireland with the home visits. Were you shocked tonight as well? Uh, yeah, pretty much. I mean, they're, they're both fantastic singers, of course, and, and both shouldn't have really been in, in the bottom two, I, I think. But. Um, yeah, coming to the crunch, I do. And I'm not just saying it because it was Ronan's girl, but I do think that Amanda should have went through. She had quite a belter of a performance. Amazing, I mean, absolutely it, amazing performance. If, if it and came down to that. Yeah, and I remember back in Dublin when we seen her as well. You know, she she can move you with, with the emotion in her voice, you know, that she expresses it very, very well. So, yeah, I was surprised. And you have a lot of... Um, you had Well, with your top final three, you had a lot of personalities. You know, James yeah. was a big, quirky personality. Amanda's got some, you know, yeah. is very quirky. And, of course, Alcian is just a well, whole other... Sadly, we've lost a lot of colour in the show now. You know, yeah. we lost James and we lost Amanda. It's going to start getting very boring. Yeah. Mm. If we keep losing yeah. the colour yeah. in this show. It's... Yeah. Uh, you know, it's not great. It's not, and people need to start thinking differently. I'm talking about the judges on the panel. Yeah. You know, they really do. They need to think about, you know, the global music industry. It's not just Australia. It's records around the world we want to sell. Absolutely. And uh, they need to think about that. Um, now, did you guys see Altian's performance last night when he did Living on a Prayer? I did. I came down to the studio last night um, just to get a little idea of what was going on and what's happening down here. And actually, Altian rocked. He, he Prop, did. Proper he? rocked. Yeah, totally deserved to go through without any question at all. I mean, back in Ireland, as a performer, even to do with Amanda, I've, I've both, I love them too dearly. I think they're proper, proper on the, they're, they're stars, they're stars. And what Rose said is, you love color, lost colour in this show, and that's what we need. Well, unfortunately, we've lost a little bit of that now. No. Okay, if you got to the MTV Awards in Europe or in America, yeah. Yeah. and you put India Rose up there, I mean, forget about yeah. it. Yeah. I, I don't mean to be bad, but forget about it, she'll disappear. You put Amanda up there, she will stand on her own yeah. two feet yeah. and she will blow the house yeah. away, all right? Yeah. People need to start thinking differently on this show. Honestly, the judges haven't got a clue at the minute, yeah. all right? They need to get their game together. It's, it's as much about um, character as it is about your, your vocal ability in today's industry, you know? Um, and, and Amanda definitely, I think, had, has that colour, you know, since we met her in Dublin. She, yeah. she just, every single time, you know, that, that, that we met her, she was uh, always offering something, you know. She's, she's, she's got a big personality. Now, Sally, of course, you're our work experience. Sally, we love Sally. Yay, hey, Sally. Sally. Over to you for a while. Okay, I know you've got questions some questions I prepared from... earlier. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Go for it, love. My first one is: Was it always going to be called Boyzone, or was that like pre-prepared, or was there other ideas? Or... <laughs> it's Twenty a years of this question still It's a terrible know. name. It's nothing to do with us. <laughs> no. Nah, you know what? It's a name. It's like U2 or UB40, and all these names that at the time you thought, what were you thinking? <laughs> and actually, no, Boyzone's oh, pretty bad. <laughs> 
Come on. I'm gonna okay, be called you all too. right. Yeah, I want to be called you too as well. No, um, <laughs> it's just a name, and we don't really think about it's it. But it wasn't us. It was our manager, Louis oh, okay, Walsh, yeah. who's actually an X Factor judge back in the oh. UK, uh, yeah, that picked the name. Nothing to do with us. That's all right. By sense of time. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thanks um, okay, well, I personally know my auntie is in love with you guys, and you're pretty much all that she listens to still. Um, and then you've got people like Andrew, who also loves you guys so much. How does it feel to know that you know you have fans of all ages and still like even in this generation, whether you've brought out music, you know, in the current years and stuff, that still love you guys no matter how often you bring out music. Well, it's um, years ago when we first started out. Obviously, the, our, our audience was predominantly young teenage girls, you know, um, and that went on for whatever, maybe in six, seven years or so, and then we took a break. And we're just very, very thrilled that we got the opportunity to come back with a new album, with new music, with what we do now, and be able to uh, encapsulate. Uh, another generation mm -hmm. of, of people as well. Do you like the word? Encapsulate. Encapsulate. Word of the day. That just comes to me now. And I'm sure you know that I used that in the okay. right like context. There's context. That's another Context. No, 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 encapsulate much better. <laughs> anyway, we, we, we've managed to, uh, or at least we're still trying to, to do that, you know, to get a, a wider yeah. audience. You know. Now, I don't want to say encapsulate anymore. <laughs> I'm going to steal that word now. In my vocab. Once is enough. And, yeah, my last question is really you know as you know a boy band and touring with each other all the time did you ever get on each other's nerves or any hard times that you know where you, you wanted to punch someone in the face yeah, uh, so I, think, <laughs> I think in fairness as we, we class ourselves more as a family yeah and 20 years together nearly is a hell of a long it's time a long, it's and longer than most it's older it's than most of the contestants yeah, in the uh, well, near, near, <laughs> some of them <laughs> some of them <laughs> No, but I think you, you learn each other's characters and personalities. We know when we want to push buttons and we know when it's time to not push those yeah. buttons. And I think that's what family's all about. But we love each other dearly and we're delighted to be here. That's the main thing. We're here yeah. to do a job at the end of the day and, and we've, we've uh, gained a brotherhood along mm -hmm. the way. Brotherhood, so, you know, yeah. it's, um, we, we, we know how to keep each other happy. I think it helps that you all like love to do the same thing. So yeah, it's like a good mm. marriage, yeah. actually. You know, <laughs> I mean, it's a big marriage, but you know, it's, yeah. it's a good marriage. <laughs> it's like music Mormons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you, yeah. yeah. Well, there's no. you lots of people or not. Just Just move good. along. We're moving on. Well, thank you, Sally. Thank you. Thank you. Wonderful Bye. job. Yay, Sally. Sally. Good job. Good job. Are you there? Hello. Hello, Sally? Hello. She's down there. She's I, down. I, I, I can't hear a thing, sorry. Um, have you got a question for Ronan? Uh, yeah. Um, we Ronan, can't hear anything, that's alright, we'll move on. Hello. Oh, there hey. we go. Hey. Go for it, Hello. go for it, Hello. Stephanie, have you got a question? I do. Go for it. Um, Stephanie. Ronan, were you nervous singing in front of the judges and the contestants? I was very nervous singing in front of these, the three, uh, the three judges. <laughs> what, are you <laughs> what are they now? I don't know if they're judges anymore. <laughs> Those folk. Um, no, I was. I was very nervous sitting in front of the guys, standing in front of the guys performing. Um, it's weird, you know, because every week I'm giving a critique and I'm telling, you know, the, the contestants, oh, you didn't do this right, you didn't do that right. And before I went out, I thought, Okay, what have I got to do right? <laughs> I had to make sure that I wasn't making any of those mistakes. So yeah, it was a bit weird going out there and, you know, luckily the judges didn't have to critique after our performance, but, you know, they're still thinking it, so it, it was a bit uncomfortable. Is that one of the first times that on The X Factor, that, uh, you know, a, a, a board member... A board member. Uh, no, Cheryl performed. Cheryl, Cheryl performed yeah. on, on X Factor last year with Girls Allowed. Beautiful. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank, Thank you, Stephanie. Now, Thank you, Stephanie. if you're like me, you have two ears and a heartbeat, and the last few minutes of Irish accents <laughs> got you all getting your girlies. We, know we, know we at like the that. Extra Factor World, just me, actually believe that any information, no matter how monotonous or devastating, can be infinitely improved with a Gaelic twist. We've unearthed some footage of Ronan, which leads us to a new segment that I like to call the Rozone. Each week, Ronan shares important knowledge about, well, whatever, really. And that's enough for me. So, ladies, ladies and, well, some gentlemen, I give you the Rozone. The Rozone. 